Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So as a name suggested today, we are going to discuss on layers function in um, any graphics NX. So layers are very important when you are working on um, a component. So it is not useful when you are working on a uh, assembly file. So you can see here, this is one, um, you know, part file. So this is a part component file and we have an, um, multiple number of, you know, features here. So different uh, features, uh, datums and sketches and other things are uh, in included in uh, part navigator so layers is useful uh, when you, uh, you wanted to place an object in particular uh, different different layers and you can make uh, make them as a visibility and selectability uh, depending on your requirement in the part so there are overall uh, 256 layers in um, in a nx file so you can uh, use them the way you want and uh, you can move the layers from one object from one layer to another layer and copy them from one layer to another layer so it depends on your requirements so we will learn how we can do on this session today and um, so by default layers settings can be you know open by using control L so as soon as you hit control L you can see here uh, these are the different layers uh, 221 all these are the different layers so as I said you there are totally 256 layers but if you can able to see here there are only few are there uh, because uh, you can see here show uh, layers with objects so uh, always it is recommended for you to keep layers with objects so if you select all layers all the layers will be on so you cannot able to pick only the objects see now uh, from 34 35 36 there are no objects at all so there are no objects and it is not useful at all so you you don't need to keep it on um, so whatever the objects that are available here you can only make them uh, visible so you can see here layers with object so once you uh, filter that with the layers with object only that are existing the, those layers which are having an objects uh, will be shown here so you can see here in layer 2 there is one object there are layer 21 there are nine objects and similarly like that you can see uh, what are the objects we have here and now uh, once you come to uh, you know, working layer say for example now this is one is a work layer so this is the work layer uh, either you can come to know which work layer you, you are working on so this is the one highlighted which is in bold uh, either you can see here work layer so this is the work layer now so suppose if you want to change the work layer so you can just go to work layer here and click on uh, says so now, now I will go to 27 so I'll just hit 27 and enter so as soon as you do this you can see 27 layer is uh, now uh, work layer so uh, we don't have one layer here one layer uh, because uh, in one layer we don't have any objects that is why it, it go on to invisible so if I click one and hit enter so again it comes because it is not having any object so now what I'll do is I'll just um, you know keep it as a one layer and I'll just close it and now I'll just create a simple point okay so this is the point I have created and this is the point over here and now if you go to control L so it is having one object because so one is a work layer that we have you know activated previously in the under this one work layer we have created this point so that is why uh, the uh, you know uh, one object is visible so in this way you can able to create uh, you know uh, multiple objects in a different different layer uh, you can also move the layers uh, you know move the objects from one layer to another layer and and create categories so you can go to categories here so category display will uh, display all the categories as you can see here all datum planes datum 1 and datum 2 sketch profiles and solids uh, you can you can create n number of you know um, categories here uh, with a different different names where you can see here solids and sheet metal surfacing or swept commands every whatever you want uh, you can able to create we will see how we can create um, uh, categories um, in the next minute so now uh, you can see here all the layers uh, are switched on so I have made all the layers switched on so now as soon as you can see switch on the layers um, all the you know whatever the sketches that are there in this one and also the datum planes everything will be switched on so now uh, in this way if you want to see now I don't want everything I just wanted to see the uh, datum plane so then you can just switch off this and make only datum switched on so once you do switch down the layers you can see only you can able to see the datum planes uh, in your uh, work part so this is how it works so whenever you are required uh, you know objects are required for you the those objects can be made as um, you know switched on and visible and make uh, make it a 
make a work on that so i'll just click, click on this um, you know category view we don't not need that category view so now we'll see how we can make a layer uh, into a visible and invisible and selectable so there are three things uh, you need to understand so you can see here uh, this once uh, you know uh, here if this is highlighted then it is uh, visible and as well as it is selectable so now you can see these two are the datums oh so these are the two datums that we have so these are selectable so we can able to select and we can able to create a sketches and whatever the things uh, you can do you can able to do this so now uh, if you want to make it come only visible so then uh, you have to click here so once you click uh, visible only this will be you know um, shaded so it means that it is only uh, uh, visible it will it cannot be able to able to select it so now i will just click close this and if you able to pick it so you cannot able to pick only the point is able to select it but uh, whatever the things uh, you know datums that are there in this uh, layers we cannot able to uh, select them so they are not selectable so if you switch off this uh, now it is hidden so it is invisible so it is not visible so now we have a work layer which is one object so this is the object that is there so it is only visible so i'll just delete this object okay and let me go to control l so this is how it works guys so and one more thing is here uh, if you want to make these columns uh, you know add a, so any other columns you can go to here and add a description and um, any other things if you want to make it you can just make it in in this one so most of the time only visible and object categories are most important so i recommend you to keep these three things um, in uh, you know uh, switched on so that uh, it can it can it will be very easy for you to understand how uh, and which layers is having which how many objects and everything can be able to see over here so now uh, we will see how we can create a category so as i said you, you can create n number of uh, categories and you can just put the you know um, uh, components inside this so we'll see how the category can be created category can be created in multiple ways so i'll just show you how we can create so as you can see here here add category the symbol is there so you can just click on uh, you can go to category view here and you can just click on add category so as soon as you create a create a category you can see there is a new uh, created category so you can give any uh, category name for this i'll just give surface and i'll click enter but you can see there is there are no you know um, objects that are existing in the in this surface so i'll just switch off this and uh, you can see uh, you can keep any number of uh, you know objects inside inside that category so what i'll do is i'll just go to surface and uh, let me okay i'll just make it this as one surface i will just create so i'll just go to extrude and let me select a single curve here and this curve i'm going to select and i'm going to extrude it so now as you can see here this is the surface that we have and i'll just click ok so i'll put this surface into the surface uh, you know uh, category so how we can do that we can just go to menu format and move to layer so move to layer as soon as you click that you can see the select object so i'm going to select this object and i'll just click ok so here you can just uh, select a surface as your category so we cannot able to see this category here because it is not having any object so first we'll put it into a layer so what i will do is i'll just create a triple one as a layer and i'll just put that into that layer now i'll just go to Control l and you can see this layer and now i'll just move this to surface so now uh, we can see a surface is having one object which is this object okay this is how we can move uh, you know any object into into any layer so now uh, what we can do is uh, we will see how we can able to come to know uh, which object is under which um, you know layer say for example this datum i just wanted to know in which layer it is there so there are two methods how we can do that so one method easy way is uh, you can just drag it and there is a column called a layer we need to um, you know add a column say layers so once you do that you can see uh, this datum is um, in 51 layer this datum is also 51 and the sketches are in 22 and this sketch is in 24th layer and this swept is in 100 layer so uh, this is the one way how we can able to see the um, you know uh, which object is in in the which layer so now the another way is you can just uh, hit control l and you can select the object so now i'm going to select this object and it will show you which layer 
so now if you select this object it is also there in 51 so if i select this one so you can see here this is in 22nd layer so this is how we can you know um, uh, identify uh, the objects into the layers so the way how we have moved this uh, surface into a uh, layer triple one the same way we can just copy the layers as well from one to another so copy to layer so it it will be useful for you to copy one uh, object from uh, one layer to another layer so so the whatever the datum is there it will not be duplicated in a in a uh, part navigator only it will be duplicated inside the layers that is how it means so move layer and copy layer can be a very useful command so you can always make a use of them okay so i hope you understand how the layer works guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer them thank you